Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman. This is the Drive to School podcast, and uh, today we're going to talk about the things we're going to see in church uh, this Sunday. And the thing that we're going to see in church this Sunday is the end of the world. It's it's the last Sunday in the church year, so we talk about Judgment Day. We talk about the end of the world. It's that just that Judgment Day is kind of hard to take seriously because we've been waiting for like 2,000 years for something that was going to happen very soon, very soon ago. Uh, Jesus 2,000 years ago said, yo, BRB, and it's just sort of hard to take him seriously in the light of all of the things that actually feel like the end of the world but aren't. It's hard to talk about Judgment Day in church because, well, there's so many other things vying for our attention that actually feel like the end of the world, the economy, the politics, the war, the rumors of war, all of the things that are going wrong in our lives that just sort of feel like they are way more important than talking about Jesus returning to judge the living and the dead. I'm not saying that stuff doesn't matter. It does, which is why we actually think that it's the end of the world. It's just that we don't actually know what the end of the world means anymore. So we don't know what to say about all that stuff that's going wrong in our lives other than to like complain to each other about how much worse things are today than they were back in the day and look at the signs and and worry. So today we're given a gift, the end of the world, a text about judgment day, a text about Jesus returning to judge the living and the dead so that we would have a church that is more than just a place to get together and try and give each other pep talks about being hopeful and joyful while simultaneously complaining about everything that's wrong. You see, there are a whole bunch of virgins that gather outside of a a wedding feast and um, some of them wander off because they don't think they have enough oil. And then the bridegroom returns. But when the bridegroom returns, everybody's asleep everybody's missing, everything's falling apart, and it's wonderful. It's wonderful because the job of the church is no longer than to prop up a dying world. The job of the church is no longer to fix the wars and the rumors of wars, the economies, the budgets, the, all the problems in your life and your families. The church is simply a place where we go to fall asleep, waiting for the bride to finally return. It's taking too long. I get it. Some people have wandered off in the meanwhile. Lord have mercy. But the end of the world for us is simply a rejoicing in the fact that you don't have to fix any of these things. It's not your job. Christ will return in glory and awake or asleep. He will gather you into a new heaven, a new earth, a world without all the pains and all the things that are falling apart that you are so desperate to keep up even though you know will soon day, one day topple. Relax. The end of the world means we actually get to relax. The bridegroom was delayed, but he did show up. He died. He rose. The world kept complaining about how everything was falling apart for 2,000 years. But the wedding feast has already begun. It's going on now. You actually get to go to church and be a part of it. Eat and drink his body and blood. The feast has already begun. Our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night was he betrayed, took bread, and after giving thanks, he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. You are invited to eat that now. To know that when you eat here, you, you eat there. You will not be left out on that last great day, and you are ready. Whenever the end of the world actually happens to be, it won't come because everything fell apart and we couldn't prop it up. It would show up because Jesus decided today is the day of returning glory. Thanks be to God for it. Because now, now we just go and we sing hymns while the world decays and it becomes beautiful. It becomes beautiful because we fix our eyes on the one thing that actually does save us. All the other things falling apart are not the end of the world. We know it is and we know it'll be a glorious day. When our Lord returns to judge both the living and the dead, you waiting in the church, it'll be a good day. Drive to School is going to be taking a week off for Thanksgiving because you're off of school. Uh, we will be back the uh, the Monday after Thanksgiving. I don't know dates, but I think that's probably like awful close to December. So take a week off, enjoy Thanksgiving, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.